Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will delve into a VFX project using Vigil AI a revolutionary tool in character animation and the VFX realm. This video generator empowers you to bring your character images to life in a realistic manner with remarkable speed and ease, enabling you to craft stunning, high-quality VFX. This comprehensive tutorial will guide you through the entire process of executing a VFX project, seamlessly integrating various AI tools, including Vigil AI, Lensgo, and Runway ML. In this step, I will teach you how to remove a character from a video scene. Runway AI has the ability to remove desired items from videos. For this purpose, I go to the Runway website. From the top right section of the site, I create a completely free user account by clicking the sign up button and login. And the Runway dashboard, I click on the edit videos option from the left side. Then, I click on the in painting option. In this section, I click on the upload icon. In the new window, I select the video from the hard drive and upload it. After a short while, the uploaded video and its thumbnail are visible in the private section. I click on the video thumbnail. The preview section becomes active for the video. I click on the add to timeline button. In the brush size section, I adjust its size. I mask the character or item I want to remove using the brush to select its area. After a short while, the desired character or item is removed from the video, and we can preview it. Once finished, I click on the Done in Painting button. Then I click on the Export button. By default, the output resolution is set to HD 720, and the video format is set to MP4. To obtain output with resolutions like Full HD or 4K or formats like ProRes or PNG, we need to upgrade to higher and paid plans. I click on the Export Video button. The video export process begins. I click on the Go to Export button. In the recently exported section, our project is visible, indicating that it is currently being exported. After a short while, the MP4 video file is ready. I click on the thumbnail of the MP4 file. On the next page, there is an option to preview the MP4 file. From the top right section, I click on the download button. The task is complete at this stage, and the character has been removed from our video, and the MP4 file is now available to us. In this step, I will teach you how to take a screenshot from a desired frame of a video using Adobe Premiere Pro. First, we run Adobe Premiere Pro. We need to create a new project for this purpose. Click on the New Project option. In the New window, enter a name for the project. Choose where to save the project. Click on the Create button. In the New Project, in the Project panel, right-click and select Import. Choose the target video file and import it into the Premiere Pro environment. Drag and drop the video file onto the timeline to create a new sequence for the video. Choose a frame where the character is clearly visible. In the Program Monitor panel, click on the Export Frame button. Enter a name for the screenshot file. Select JPEG format from the drop-down list for the screenshot file. Use the Browse button to choose where to save the screenshot file. After these settings, click OK. Go to the Save location and view the screenshot. With this method, we can take a screenshot from a desired frame of a video using Adobe Premiere Pro. At this stage, I'll walk you through transforming an image or screenshot of a normal and ordinary character into an image of a futuristic character, a Terminator, or a vampire using the image-to-image -image feature of Lensco's artificial intelligence. Nowadays, many AI systems have the capability of image-to-image, -image, but we're opting for Lensco because it provides us with a decent number of tokens as credits for free in its panel, which are recharged daily at no cost. From the top right section of the website, we create a free user account and log in. In the Lensco dashboard, I click on the Create Image option from the left menu. Since we intend to convert one image into another, I click on the Upload Image option. In the Browse window, I select and upload the screenshot I prepared in the previous step. After a short while, the screenshot is uploaded, and its thumbnail is displayed. We need to specify the changes we want to apply to this image in a text box as a prompt. We write detailed descriptions of the new image. For this step, I've already written a prompt. 
I right click in the text box and paste it. Make sure that in the left menu, the model option is set to real and number of images is set to two. Then I click on the generate button. After a brief moment, two new images are generated. By clicking on each, we can view them in full size. Hovering over each image reveals a download icon, which we can use to obtain the images. At this stage, I'm going to teach you how to animate an image based on a video using the mix feature of Viggles AI. In this step, we have an image that we've modified using the Mage to Image process in previous steps, and we have a video that serves as our reference. We visit the Viggle AI website. The features of this AI are now available completely for free and are provided on the Discord platform. I click on the Join the Beta option. After a few short steps, I enter the Viggle server on Discord. There are several rooms available from the left menu for executing commands of this AI. I choose one of the rooms as desired. In this section, sample works of other members are seen. At the bottom, there is a text box for entering commands. I type the command slash mix and click on it in the drop-down list. Two sections, image and video, are provided for upload. I click on the image section and select the image that I modified in previous steps using the image to image feature from the hard drive. Then I click on the video section, choose the reference video from the hard drive. At this stage, the movements present in the video must be applied to the image. In the text box, I click on the background label. And in the drop down list of options, we have two choices between white and green. I select the green option so that I can later remove the background in the post-production stage using the chroma key process. Then another drop-down list is displayed, and in the options drop-down list, I select the on option. I click in an empty space in the text box and press the enter key. My request goes into the queue and gets highlighted. After a short period, my request is fulfilled, and the image is animated based on the reference video, has a green background, and is ready for viewing. The download button for the video frame is visible in the top right section. I download it. At this stage, I'll teach you how to remove the green background from the video generated by Viggle AI and composite it with the runway video. I handle chroma keying and video editing using Adobe Premiere Pro at this stage. If you recall, in the first step, we removed the character from the original video. Now, I import this video into Premiere Pro. In the project panel, I drag and drop this video onto the new item icon. This creates a new sequence based on the specifications of this video, placing it on the timeline. Then, I import the second video with the green background obtained from animating an image into Premiere Pro. I place this video on the timeline above the first video using drag and drop. The green screen layer is on top, and the background layer is at the bottom. I right-click on the green screen layer and select the Scale to Frame Size option. In the Effects panel, under the Video Effects folder, in the King subfolder, I choose the Ultra Key effect and apply it to the green screen video using drag and drop. I enter the Effect Controls panel. In the Ultra Key Effect Settings section, I select the Eyedropper tool and click on the green color in the Program Monitor panel to select it. This removes the green color from the video, revealing the background layer below. By toggling the eye icon next to each video track, we can show or hide layers. If you remember in the previous stages, we had converted a normal image into a zombie image using Lensco AI's image to image feature. Now I want to animate that zombie image and convert it into a video using Viggle AI. I am on the Viggle AI Discord server. I entered the Animate 2 bot from the left menu. In the bottom section, there's a text box for entering commands. I type the command slash mix and click on it in the drop-down list. Two sections for uploading, image and video, appear. I click on the image section and select the zombie image I created with the image to image feature from my hard drive. I click on the video section and choose the original video whose movements should be applied to the image from my hard drive. In the text box, I click on the background label. And in the drop-down list, we have two choices between white and green. 
I choose green to be able to remove its background using the green screen chroma key process. Then another drop down list appears, and I select the on option. I click in an empty space in the text box and press the enter key. My request is queued and highlighted. After a short while, my request is completed, and the image is animated based on the video reference, with a green background, and we can view it. The download button is visible in the top right section of the video frame. I download it. At this stage, I'll teach you how to remove the green background and composite it with a new background. Now, I import this video into Premiere Pro. I drag and drop the video onto the timeline, placing it above all other videos. The green screen layer is on top, and the background layer is below. I right-click on the green screen layer and select Scale to Frame Size. In the Effects panel, under the Video Effects folder, within the Keying subfolder, I select the Ultra Key effect and apply it to the green screen video by dragging and dropping it onto the video. Then, I enter the Effect Controls panel. In the Ultra Key Effect settings, I choose the Eyedropper tool and click on the green color in the Program Monitor panel to select it. This method removes the green color from the video, revealing the background layer underneath. By toggling the eye icon next to each video track, we can show or hide layers. In this tutorial, you've learned how to easily and completely for free perform a VFX task using artificial intelligence. After completing the chroma keying, compositing and overall VFX process, now we want to export the timeline to an MP4 file. From the top menu of Premiere Pro, I click on Export. In the New panel, I enter a name for the output file in the File Name section. In the Location section, I specify where to save the file. From the drop-down preset list, I select the High Quality 1080p HD option, ensuring that H.264 is chosen in the Format section. After these settings, I click on the Export button, and after a short while, the video file with suitable quality and MP4 format is ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on AI-powered VFX projects. If you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. There are many more AI tutorials on the way, so subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Leave your questions in the comments section below, and I'll respond as quickly as possible. Embrace AI. The future is AI. See you in the next tutorial.